Colorado is one step closer to banning the open carry of guns near polling sites. And the bill is not without precedent and not without cause. Our Secretary of State regularly receives death threats, and it was only a year ago that our country's capital was raided. Still, any attempt to curb how and where someone can carry a gun will be met with pushback and debate. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez found plenty of that today at the Capitol. Both men were on both sides. They set up camera. It's not something Arapahoe County clerk and recorder Joan Lopez is likely to forget anytime soon. A gentleman in a tactical vest, a camera and open carrying. On the eve of the 2020 election at this ballot box on Prince Street, right as people were dropping off their votes, two men showed up. One set up a camera here on one side and the other side and they continued to film voters. The men walked up to the front of the building and just stood there. The police were called, they spoke to the men, but here's the thing. They weren't breaking any electioneering laws. Right now, Colorado law says you're not allowed to electioneer a campaign within 100 feet of a ballot box, but it doesn't say anything really when it comes to carrying a firearm around these ballot boxes, particularly when people are dropping their votes off. A handful of jurisdictions have taken it upon themselves to come up with their own rules, but for the most part, most counties follow state law. What we saw in the 2020 elections just put a spotlight on how sensitive voting has become, and that's unfortunate. That's why Representative Jennifer Bacon and a group of Democratic lawmakers have proposed a bill to ban open carry around ballot boxes and polling places. We want to reinforce the notion of how sacred it is to be able to vote, how um, important it is that people feel safe. I think that is a very valid argument. House Bill 1086, otherwise known as the Vote Without Fear Act, is not without opposition. I don't like to be in gun-free zones. Representative Patrick Neville was at Columbine in 19. And lost classmates. He says this bill could have the opposite effect on some voters. It is going to make guys like me fearful, and that might be what they're attempting to do is to suppress conservatives from actually turning out to vote. The bill passed its first committee hearing on Monday along party lines. As for Arapahoe County, with or without the bill, they're taking action. It was passed where open carry is not allowed in our buildings any longer. A big change before the 2022 midterm elections. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.